All right, so let's see, Cara's here. Uh, special guest for, we're going to play a game with you, but we also want to talk to you about stuff, because you, you, when did your new album come out? Um, I don't have a date yet, but it'll be November. I haven't, oh. yeah, I haven't figured out an exact day. Uh, Is that up to you? November. Um, I guess me and the team, just whenever we feel like it'll be ready, because it's still being mixed, and I just kept writing more songs, so it's like I had to keep pushing the day back. But it's almost there, so November is a Yeah, sure definitely thing. almost there. Yeah. Okay, cool. How important now that you've had so many message songs that like almost set up a whole culture now, that you have songs that have messages, or do you ever write about anything fun, or does it have to cut? <laughs> That's a weird question. Do you ever write, <laughs> you ever write fun, fun things? <laughs> you know? All your stuff is so boring and heavy. No, 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 no. 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 I'm just the I'm message. Just I'm talking about your yeah. message. No, I totally get it. No, it's 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 funny because like I, I try sometimes to just write songs that are just I don't want to say meaningless, but just kind of like just for fun, just to see what I can come up with. And I always end up writing these like heavy songs if I do that. Um, I don't know, I just write what I'm feeling. I guess I feel a lot of a lot of heavy stuff and that's just what comes out. I, I never try to just write like these, you know, socially conscious songs. That's just like what I was feeling, especially for the first album. But, but there's like a lot, there's, there are different themes on this album that aren't so like, you know, that. I think but I think just like bit. that's what people relate to. It's mm -hmm. like you know, not many people talk about those heavy feelings. Yeah, and that yeah, and I wanted to. I think like it's so important to talk about those things as much as it is to have music that's like escapism, that's fun. Because I understand that there's a group of people that don't want to think all the time. You know, they want music to escape. But then there's also a group of people that want music to allow them to think about stuff. You know, and they want to maybe reflect on things or feel about stuff. Or feel yeah. about mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. So like, that's trust just, me, lonely. I loved it as Thank soon you. as it dropped and you're talking about your insecurities mm -hmm. and like you're you're at a point in your life where you're doing so many incredible things but you're still having these insecurities of course yeah I think I mean just like doing this even makes like mo creates more insecurities in a way because there are not only like your eyes on you but just everybody else's too so that creates some doubt within yourself or at least for me like it just creates some doubt or just more insecurities because you feel like am I doing the right thing am I saying the right things you know um, so for me, um, when it came to writing this album, I, I decided I wanted to write this album by myself. And it was, you know, the second album, Blues, where everyone's like, oh, like, is she going to do it again? And mm -hmm. doing it by myself, that created a lot of doubt, like, you know, within myself, like, am I going to be able to do this or am it's I capable you. of doing this? So um, writing that song was really helpful for me um, as the start to just getting rid of those negative feelings and just deciding to, to continue doing what I'm doing and not worry so much about, you know. The outcome or any of that stuff. You know, in the um, the song with Logic, the suicide song, mm. and I call it the suicide song because I can't remember the phone number. I know, neither can I. Mm, right? It's really, uh, yeah. It's so, and it's different for every country, I'm, so it, it's impossible uh, to. Uh, yeah. It's oh, true. you guys have yeah, done yeah, different so, versions. Like they should have been. Um, it, no, but the number is different. So if I, when I would go like talk about it in different countries, it would be different. So I'd it should be, like, be something oh, like know you know, eight hundred save or something. Yeah, but still, but in that song, like you know, I listen to it and I'm like, oh, it's depressing, whatever, right? And I get the message, um, and I love Logic. But when you come on that song, that song's a whole new level. Do you know what I mean? Like, you, I mean, like, just talking about it with you, I get like goosebumps. Like you, you get like, I don't want to get all way too OG, but you get like Ella Fitzgerald level. Like you are wow. next level in that. Like, it, like Thank you. I love Logic, but Logic, you, you, you like leave yourself you leave him in another atmosphere type of deal oh my goodness yeah Thank you so and, much. And, and i've heard and when i hear your other music like the um what's the song um it's called a little bit the little oh, a, a little more a little more yeah that song too that one's like my god man you're just like it's like you just feel i never really like listened to a song before and like feel so much passion and compassion and empathy for the person singing it than when you do a song Thank you, you so know? much. Wow, that's really, really sweet of you. Really? Thanks. Yes, of course. <laughs> oh, it is. Right. Really, really, of I'm course. I'm just telling you how I feel about the song, no, about your music. That's really sweet. I, mean, it I was appreciate great. that. Like, you Thanks. feel for the relationship, but how I'm like, oh my God, can't you just give her a little bit more? <laughs> 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 Why did you break up with her? Or whatever. <laughs>